This video is an introduction to CNS anatomy. CNS stands for Central Nervous System, and it's comprised of three parts, the brain, the brainstem, and the spinal cord. From a side view, the central nervous system kind of looks like this, and here are the three sections I spoke of. The brain, the brain stem, and the spinal cord. Let's have a look at the spinal cord first. The spinal cord hangs down like this from the brainstem. The spinal cord ends at the L1 L2 vertebral level. This little fibrous band here is the phylum terminale, and it attaches to the coccyx bone. And it kind of helps keep the spinal cord in place. Coming from the sides of the spinal cord are spinal nerves. Down here we have the corda equina, which is Latin for the horse's tail. And there are also spinal nerves, but they hang down below the level of L1 and L2. Now let's have a look at the other two parts of the CNS. Here's a brain from the side, and the front of the brain is to the left. So up here I've shown the cortex. Cortex is Latin for bark, and it's the outside layer of the brain. There's stuff inside too, but I'm not going to go into that here. Sitting below the brain is the cerebellum. The first part of the brain stem is the midbrain. Then under the midbrain is the pons. And under the pons is the medulla oblongata. All these structures here constitute the brainstem. Now let's have a look at the cortex. There's a very prominent separation in the brain called the central sulcus. This is a valley that runs down in the cortex. And this helps divide up the lobes of the brain. Over here is the frontal lobe. And behind the central sulcus is the parietal lobe. At the back is the occipital lobe. And here at each side is the temporal lobe. Now very roughly, the occipital lobe is for seeing. The parietal lobe is for feeling. The frontal lobe is for thinking and the temporal lobe is for hearing. And that completes this introduction of the central nervous system.